Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Fatihah binti Muhammad. My matric number is 050745. Okay, for our assignment, we have to choose FGV Holdings in Liam Berhad. Okay, now let's go to the detail about FGV Holdings in Liam Berhad. For the introduction, FGV Holdings in Liam Berhad was informed in 1 July 1956. Before this, it was known as Federal Land Development Authority E, which is FELDA. FGV Holdings in Yamaha also has been listed in the main market in Bursa Saham Malaysia on 28 June 2018. There are three core business that FGV Holdings has been focused on, which is plantation, sugaries, and logistics. Okay, in literature review, it has external audit and internal audit. External audit is to recognize analysis pattern and incident outside the control of particular business. For the internal audit, is to reveal the most significant and the most significant strength and the most serious weakness of the company. Example of external audit that implied in FGV Holdings in Yamberhat is environment in controlling pollution where FGV is really committed to protecting the natural environment and has adopted the high conservation value. Meanwhile, in technology, FGV use market assistance selection technology to shorten the duration needed for year improvement. For the internal audit, it, it, it has organizational culture and culture product. Organizational culture is non discrimination in the workplace to improve some transparency because FGV holdings and the respect and values diversity in the workplace. Meanwhile, for the culture product, FGV are guided by the principle that all employees, including foreign workers, must be treated fairly and with respect. My name is Amira Hana Binti Am Araha Yudin and my metric number is 050592. In this company audit, I will focus on the strategies that were implemented by the FGV holding Berhad as strategies were also part of the internal forces. And I believe that uh, strategies were the most crucial elements that company need to focus on as they helps in determine many aspects of that company as well as decide uh, the best strategies for the company to move forward. It's on SP20 which is uh, SP20 is strategic planning of 2020 uh, that will consist of four elements. Element is excellence in process. So, FGB Holdings Berhad, they have aimed for their plantation total harvested region where they want to achieve around 5 to 6% higher because it helped to boost uh, the age structure. Okay, so the next element is down value change transfer, which is uh, FGV want to produce higher yields of all seed plantation and they want to acquire a uh, cautious certification uh, in the US of oleochemical plant uh, via um, cautious uh, fractionation method. Okay, so the next elements of this strategy is with portfolio balancing and lead to growth. So basically, FGV want to develop distribution and promote the capacity of that company to uh, build emerging uh, environments. Okay, so the last element is they want to maximize the human and financial resources where FGV want to uh, monitoring the awareness of stakeholders and they also want to strengthen their current joint venture and optimize manpower as well as cultivate talent. Okay, so there are some of external factors that I've included in the company audit which is there are political factors such as labor and social compliance. Okay, so FGV Holdings uh, hiring a migrant guest worker and most of the workers uh, or foreign workers from uh, Nepal or Indonesia. So um, FGV have uh, converted the financial statement based on their country languages so uh, they could understand and reducing uh, problems that would be occur uh, within that company. FGV Holdings Berhad has produced almost a thousand of safety box for permit keeping project. Um, for their migrant workers and I believe the FGV was responsible towards their migrant workers and their employees as they were uh, monitoring them uh, monthly and do the report uh, monthly. Okay, so for critical analysis, uh, we focus on to use SWOT analysis and we recommend for FGV to use TOWS analysis as well. Okay, so the first one is strength. Okay, so basically FGV were excellent in their plant breeding activities because they use integrated pest management to control uh, any attacks from beetles or pests. So through this mechanism, FGV could reduce uh, losses or damages of their palm oil plantation and prevent from any attacks uh, during their breeding activities. So basically FGV also have a good bargaining power uh, because they have acquired 35% uh, of cooking oil industry with their own brand name which is Saji. And 
the negotiating power is actually uh, small and low because FGV itself acts as the supplier and distributor among the worldwide industry. Okay, so uh, for the weaknesses, uh, FGV has high uncertainties in managing the risk because they have lack of um, prediction uh, of occurrences in the future. So, uh, this unpredictable event could lead to negative impact of their yields of oil plantation. And besides, they also have weaknesses in uh, ineffective operating costs, which lead to higher overhead costs. Okay, so, for opportunities, basically, FGV have received uh, fully support from Malaysia government for oil palm industry, and FGV also have higher uh, cash collection posts, which is uh, their earnings were based on their plantation uh, income. and. FGV also have emerging in their biofuel market as FGV generate excess electricity based on their uh, renewable energy resources and it helps to uh, produce uh, electricity based on their planting uh, activities. Okay, for threats, FGV uh, faces inconsistent uh, global palm oil market prices and they also faces uh, economic crisis in Europe. Uh, this debt crisis uh, involves a uh, server region which is important because it will uh, affect the global financial uh, market volatility and the FGV uh, manufacturing will be impacted and there will be disruption within that business due to the late investment uh, of that new capacity. Okay, so for strength opportunity strategy, we recommend FGV to implement environmental growth strategy which is this was related to their um, excellent plant breeding and their emergence of biofuel market. So the plant breeding was the best option to develop um, bioenergy production as instead of using fossil fuels, ethanol and methanol could uh, be the best alternative for their synthesis hydrocarbon. So this could lead to their major revenue and few research uh, for them to create more other alternatives. For weakness opportunity strategy, we recommend FGV to manage their financial resources involving their budget, plan and monitoring strategy. So this was based on the high cash collection post and their weaknesses of ineffective operating costs. So this problem could be solved and we recommend FGV to control their financial resources. And these approaches uh, could help the organization predicting their uh, organization financial performance in their future. So for strength threat uh, strategy, we recommend uh, FGV to uh, restructure their credit terms. This was based on their higher bargaining power and their threats of uh, uncertainties in global palm oil market prices. So, uh, we have suggested FGV to um, recognize their credit terms. So based on the past research, FGV uh, faces problems with their creditors and in order to solve this, FGV could um, provide discount to the creditors that pay their debts earlier. Okay, for uh, weakness threat, uh, strategy, uh, we recommend FGV to use diversification strategy. This was based on their weakness which is uh, managing the risk with uncertainties and their threat which is economic crisis in the eurozone so basically i think um uh, fgv should have a strong understanding uh with the opportunity that they might achieve and i believe that this uh, diversification strategy could be rewarding if the organization is able to balance between their risk and reward okay in the finding after so many years fgv has been operated there are so many struggles and issues that arise the issue that arise may be because of the weakness in the organization department or even the employee and the employee by itself here is the few recommendations that we can suggest first is managing the risk effectively as a big company the risk that might occur was also high so it's really important for the company to manage the risk the measurement of risk can be in many many ways such as risk transfer risk control risk retention and others for example the unpredictable event can include the worst float seen usually by the end of the year and lead to the negative impact on the company second is maintain and improve the quality of product Always take care of the quality of product that has been produced so that there are no complaints from the consumer that use the product where it can lead to the damage of the company name. For example, the issue that arise before, before of because of old oil plant before. Uh, the third is manage the budgeting cost, which is the company must have specific budget when organizing the production cost. So that the cost that going to use does not exist from the budget as been stated. Besides, managing the budgeting cost help the company to avoid facing a financial crisis such as what happened last year. In the conclusion, FGV Holdings Berhad have gained so much in some of the sectors and they are currently moved toward the Sustainable Development Goals. That's all from us. Thank you.